Hello everyone, how are you? This is my first video of creating a professional SRS. If you want to begin to write a professional SRS, you have to begin with your logo and your project title. Here I will talk about the mobile banking project. Let's go, the, let's go through the uh, SRS document. Uh, the first part here, the table of content, and table of content will be updated uh, uh, as much as you uh, uh, write a new section. Uh, here is the document release history, authors, reviews, stakeholders, uh, abbreviations and definitions. And here is the main parts, introduction, overall description, external interface requirement, system features, this is so important, and non-functional requirements. Let's begin with the first part, document release history is a table where you can put all the uh, uh, serial number, version uh, uh, number, release date of the, of the document prepared by uh, whom and reviewed by whom and the uh, comments. Here, Mohammed, Mohammed put the first draft of this uh, uh, SRS document and reviewed by Ahmed Fouad uh, uh, and the comments are uh, review comments and finalizing requirements. This is for uh, version uh, like version two and this is version three so if you need to create another version you have to fill this table you have to add uh, a new row with uh, the new version with the date and prepared by and reviewed by and comments so you can track the changes the next part is the author reviewers stakeholder this is a, a very important section because in this section uh, you have to write the uh, stakeholder register, whether uh, in your team or client's team. Here you can put the first name, role in project, influence, contact email. For example, John is a program manager in the client stakeholder side, and he's a spoke, a spoke means that he is uh, responsible for taking important decision in this, uh, in this field, in this role. And here is, uh, uh, his number and email. You can put all the common uh, uh, job titles, program manager, functional consultant, and test manager, hardware, uh, integration specialist, chief banker, business analyst, and so on. And here in your team side, for example, software quality academy team, uh, the teams who implements the, the, the project, uh, you can write Susan is the engagement manager, technical uh, consultant, SME, subject matter expert analyst, project manager, UX lead, and so on. Uh, uh, the importance of this table is to uh, refer back to uh, uh, the right person in the right time uh, to take uh, an appropriate decision. Like if you have a business issue, you will uh, 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 refer back to the chief banker. Uh, and if you have a technical issue in the integration, uh, you will refer back to, uh, uh, say, uh, Smith, who is responsible for integration specialist and uh, SME. He's a subject matter expert for this part. The next part is the abbreviations and definitions. It's so important to have a general, a general table for all the definitions in the project. Uh, we are talking here about mobile banking, so uh, we need to put uh, the meaning of debit, the meaning of credit, account, transfer, banking system, user and administrator, this is very important. Uh, for example, user, someone who is uh, who uh, use uh, uh, the application to get all banking service through mobile application. The administrator, someone who use application to control all transaction and get the appropriate dashboards and reports. So if you find, if you find uh, uh, the word user in uh, the words or in, the, in another section, you know now what user means. And if you find debit, you know what it means. It's so important to collect all the abbreviations, all the definition as a general concept across all the projects. Okay, let's move to the second part. The second part in the introduction. Introduction is divided into small subsections, like the background. The background uh, we can put here, despite having solutions that automate works, to make more, uh, especially uh, back-end transactions, 
the bank aim to launch their own uh, modernized digital mobile application. So you need to put here the background of your organization, of your, uh, of your client. So uh, you can track what is coming, what's the next future thing. And in the purpose part, you need to put the purpose of this document, like the following. The, the purpose of this document is to build com a comprehensive view and understanding of the requirements of a bank, of a bank name, of course, for the new uh, prospected solution, mobile banking. It, it, it illustrates, sorry, or, or it clears the requirements of system. It will explain uh, uh, system constraints, interfaces, interaction. Simply, you will put all the upcoming sections here in this part. And the intended audience, of course, of course, you are uh, uh, targeting the client and the team itself, your team. So uh, it is all IT and the business stakeholder of the bank as well as your team. Because the SRS is the implementation of the uh, project or implementation of a business requirement. The next part in the introduction part is the product scope. Product scope is so important because we need to uh, uh, clear or illustrate how uh, uh, the application will work. So bank mobile, applica uh, mobile banking mainly consists of mobile application and website. Uh, uh, in this part, uh, you know that you have mobile application and website. So the tester uh, in the stakeholder register will uh, focus uh, on this part. I have uh, two different technology here, mobile and website. That helps the client to get banking service via digital platform. Users can access a platform anytime, anywhere, blah, blah, blah. The application scope, it will contain of two modules, mobile application for bank, bank clients and web portal for bank employees. Okay, this is so important. Uh, now I know that I have two technologies and two uh, uh, modules. The last part is, uh, sorry, not the last part, uh, uh, out of scope. Out of scope will be uh, internal banking system structure and its API. Uh, any bank have internal banking system. Uh, mobile banking system will read all data from the internal, but uh, this is not your responsibility as a company that will develop a mobile application. Also, any third party developed APIs is out of scope. The last part is the cross-reference. Cross-reference is so important because uh, it will contain all, all the references you need across all the projects. Here you can show uh, mobile banking high-level business requirement. This sheet uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, okay, let's open the sheet. I think it hangs, okay. This sheet will contain all the requirements gathered in the elicitation process. Here, user shall have shall be able to log in into system. User shall be able to register into system. User shall be able to change his password, to retrieve his password, to change his password, to profile data, uh, uh, be able to view uh, his accounts balances. Uh, user be able to transfer amounts bet between his accounts or transfer to another accounts or pay his credit. So this is the high level requirement. This is gathered from the elicitation process that the business analyst uh, uh, made with the business through uh, either through interviews, through a uh, formal uh, meeting or a technical meeting and, uh, uh, and so on. Okay. And this is the second uh, file used in elicitation or in cross-reference uh, uh, part is the uh, traceability matrix. The traceability matrix simply trace the requirement and its integration with development and testing and the use cases. So uh, if uh, we have the requirement number, requirement description here, uh, the, uh, uh, we integrated with user stories, blah, 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 and integrated with use cases, integrated with test case title, uh, test case type, is it positive or negative uh, status, and uh, the development component or development classes, whatever. Here you can track all the requirement and its uh, uh, testing and development sides uh, because if you need to change 
any part, you must have a, a trace of all the integration with uh, another uh, with other phases of other development uh, uh, phases in this area. So this is the first part of creating a professional SLS. Hope you like it and wait for the second video. Thank you.